You are welcome to Cup of Faith of Yaba Baptist Church, Lagos, with the church pastor, Reverend Dr. Bayo Shola Aremu. God bless you as you listen. Praise be to God for the new day and the new week. May the supernatural blessings of God be unleashed upon you this week in Jesus' name. For today's meditation is the topic, How to Experience Supernatural Supply in Times of Scarcity. And the text is Philippians chapter 4, verses 19 to 20, where the scripture says, And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. To our God and Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Having emphasized the possibility of experiencing supernatural supply in times of scarcity, the next thing is to identify certain conditions that can trigger divine supernatural supply and that can at the same time connect one to it. We need to understand that supernatural supply is made possible when we learn to respond to certain kingdom principles and requirements. How do we experience supernatural supplies in times of uncertainty, adversity, scarcity, and austerity? The first step is to look up to God continually and maintain our confidence in Him. According to Jeremiah chapter 17, verses 5 to 8, those who trust in man will not see prosperity when it comes, but those who trust in the Lord and maintain their confidence in Him will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when it comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. Another condition for experiencing supernatural supply in times of scarcity is active covenant practice. Principles are principles under all conditions. Language does not change them, and seasons do not change them. There is a great mistake in manipulating your covenant practice, maybe because times are bad. For example, it is a great mistake to either reduce your tithe or fail to pay it because of the bad state of the economy. The best time to practice the covenant is when it is difficult to do so. When times are hard and situations are tough, don't withdraw from your covenant practice. It is the key to thriving in adverse times. The third condition is connection to divine direction. It is important to relate to God in such a way that He will lead and guide us into our fortune. Divine direction, particularly in times of adversity, is key to divine provision. When we allow God to guide us, we can easily connect to God's unlimited resources. Divine direction will always provoke divine provision. Finally, if you want to connect to supernatural supply, maintain an attitude of gratitude and praise. In John chapter 6, verses 11 and 12, when Jesus had five loaves and two fishes, he irrigated it with thanks and praise and it's multiplied. This tells us that in times of scarcity, gratitude can break hard ground. Beloved of God, this is a season of supernatural supply. No matter what the economy dictates, you can plug into supernatural supply as you fulfill the conditions attached. This is a way to experience abundance in times of scarcity. I pray for you today. You are richly blessed in Jesus' name. You will not beg for bread in these hard times. The Lord will connect you to supernatural and overflowing blessings. This is your month of supernatural supply. Go and make it. Go and prosper. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a blessed day and a prosperous week. Christ is the answer.
We believe you've been blessed by the message from the throne of grace. For further inquiries, prayer, and counseling, kindly contact 0907-799-6648. That's 0907-799-6648. The church is located at 19 Stroke 23 Commercial Avenue, Raymond Street, Sabo Yaba, Lagos. We meet on Sundays by 8 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. and on Wednesdays by 6 p.m. Join us same time right here on Every Other Day. Christ is the answer to all human needs. Thanks for listening.